ringside, the World Wrestling Federation, and match number seven coming up. And you may recognize the young man in the ring at the bottom of your screen. Uh, the son of the living legend. You bet. Bruno San Martino's offspring, David San Martino. And what a name he's making for himself in the world of professional. Oh, wrestling. he has the champion's blood inside him, but I tell you, he doesn't take a back seat to that at all. He's his own wrestler, and he'll tell you, he is exciting. Well, I, I told him when he first started out as a pro, Dick, I said, don't try to follow in your father's footsteps. Make some of your own. Do your own thing. And he certainly has. The following is a one fall bout. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 272 pounds, Ron Shaw. The opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing 250 pounds, David San Martino. Well, Gorilla Monsoon, uh, Ron Shaw, being announced from Philadelphia, did not get a Philadelphia welcome. However, the young man from Pittsburgh, Mr. San Martino, certainly did. Well, you know, when Ron gets a couple more years' experience under his belt, he's going to be a handful. Yep. This guy's 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, close to that 300-pound mark, moves around very well, is big and powerful. Well, young David Sabertino offered a hand, a handshake to start it off, and he got, uh, you know, five miles the other way, fella, by Ron Shaw, and that's the end of that. Oh, start pounding on Sabertino. You've got a difference in the height here, a night decided height advantage. Look Ron out, Shaw. David, Whew. hard into the corner. Oh, wow. Man, he was flying. Ron Shaw not wasting any time taking the an upper hand here on San Martino, who I don't think was really ready for the start of the match. No, I think he expected to start off uh, sort of feel a guy out for a couple of Ron Shaw's there's no feeling out. This not, is it. Uh, it really is. Well, it's one way to get his attention, meaning San Martino, as well as the crowd. And he's a couple of body slams in a row. He's falling right on top. He wants to make short work of David San Martino. He, uh, no, no, I thought that was his idea. No, he does. Uh, we saw earlier. There's a, the hair. a big mistake right there. Yep. You have a chance to beat David San Martino. You best take it. You better do it early. Otherwise, he's going to come back to make you regret it. Well, that's that ego again. A guy trying. There's a chokehold. Count it one. Count it two. Ron Shaw learning the hard way. Had his leg broken here a little over a year ago in professional wrestling. Took place in Saskatchewan, Alberta, Canada. Ugh. Long Took a tremendous fall outside the ring. I happened to be in attendance that night. Not one of my favorite places. <laughs> well, you probably have a few memories of that yourself. Oh, huh? my God, yes. San Martino getting slammed here time after time. I look at Shaw saying, I'm, I'm doing a number on this I guy. I want to plant a seed with you, Gorilla Monsoon. I want, I'm just going to plant a seed again. I think we mentioned this before one time. Why don't you write your memoirs my memoirs yeah. but they're not over yet Dick. I'm okay. afraid. <laughs> all right all right <laughs> the way these guys keep flopping in and out of this ring and on top of our table here anything's liable to happen yeah i remember a guy by the name of monsoon almost came down on top of me it was about uh, half a year before you finally retired <laughs> yeah all right what a way that was it you got the bell can't believe that that was it referee did not call for the bell wait a minute wait a minute what hold it what's What's happening? Did he call? They call for the San Martino, obviously very much down. Ron Shaw exulting in the win. Mel Phillips in the ring, the announcer. The, heard the bell. Dusty Feldbomber explained to Mel Phillips what he has to say. Well, let's get the announcement. Let's find out. I'm a little bit in the dark here. The winner of this bout by a submission, Ron. Shaw. Highly unlikely. Oh. Not only does he beat him, but he spits down on David Sammartino. He's just starting to get with it. Well, maybe we best get a hearing aid for Dusty. Or somebody. David fans, San Martino never gave up are, in his life. Fans are just sort of they're not too sure, you know, they don't they don't know how they react to this. It's too fast, and they expected more. Not falling, San Martino, but I think they expected more Dick, of a wrestling match. Even if he'd have broken a rib on any of those slams or cracked a rib, this youngster's got too much guts to give up. For sure. 
He may be waving his arm in pain, but I don't think he said, I quit. I doubt that. It's not within him to do that. I doubt that he would have given in. I, I buy it. Well, fans, as David Sammartino favoring one arm and his back goes off, we'll be gone back to you in just a moment. You're watching Spectrum Wrestling.